final activations for year one of four for a Mr. President game. Uh, I want to make a note. I had uh, must have drawn the Russia Axe 2 chit, and I mistakenly put it back here, but I'm reading about this here, and it says that it goes back into the draw cup. Uh, until it is drawn, which we did, and resolved, at which point it is returned to the draw cup. So we put it back in the draw cup there. That's what you do with the Russia or China axe. All right, now starting off with our final little activations of the year. Oh, Mr. Billingsley wants us to draw some more crises. <laughs> it's a crisis life, so hey, let's see what the game's about. What kind of curveballs are trying to throw us? Uh, draw one shit. So we're here, we got our crisis chip. Bye. Cuppy cup. Oh, over here. Oh. Draw one. Oh. <laughs> it can never be a happy day's one. There you go. Draw two crisis cards. There you go. And it says, so I think it has a plus next to it. If plus, draw again. So we will be drawing again from the crisis. So let's put this up here. Draw two crisis cards. Alright. What do we add up here at the crisis card deck? Oh, year two. Oh, here we go. Crisis deck. It's been a while. It's been a while. And our first card. Our first. At least could be uh, either or. Uh, I think the status of my game has been can reflect that uh, we've been getting some easy ones or ones that aren't that hard to resolve. Let's see what we got going on here. You look at the bottom first. Russia uses economic blackmail to gain influence in ex-Soviet Central Asian countries. Huh, well, there we go. Immediately, Russia posture one. Minus one in the regional crisis in Central South Asia. Uh, regional crisis, they'll move it from two to three. Not a major crisis yet, but they're trying to make it one. Oh, increase a level three or two terror group in that priority by one level. Oh, we have a three. But it's on the intel track, so I'm not really sure. All right. Level three. All right, let's see. Level three, Terra Group. He gets to increase to level four. And there you go. Increase level t three, two, or one Terra Group in their priority by one level. Priority by one level. Eight, level three. All right, we did level three. That was a priority. Uh, oh, Russia posture two. Uh, that they are at a posture two, not a posture one. So let me go ahead and reverse that. We'll be right back. And everything's put back because we go down to posture two. I guess it's gonna, this is going to be more of a severe uh, event because Russia's posture is at two. Oof, gotta get that thing down. Same as above. Oh, plus. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Same as above. So. Central South back to three, and the three back up to four. All right, plus we got some more goodies. We roll a D10 to find out what the result is. Whew. Let's just roll and see what happens. A D10, don't know if we need a high or low. Usually it's a low we need to look for. Oh, we get a mid-tier, five. Place a plus one action point counter on Russia. Not too bad, but I guess when something happens, they get a plus one action point. All right, let's do my things here. I have to punch one of those out. We will be right back. All right. You can see old Rush is ready to go with all the tensions, and we got we had an action point already on there, plus one action point. So there you go. Our economy's improving. Ooh, not looking good. Cold water or cold water. <laughs> Uh, Cold War adversaries. All right, be right back. All right, then. I don't know if you can see that, but it says R is what we do with it when we are done. And that means it goes into the reshuffle pile. We got some reshuffle pile right here. Ready to go. All right, so that is our first draw. I mean, that wasn't bad, but it definitely. But when Russia goes, it's going to go big. 
might be a game ender. So we definitely got to deal with that. But we have to draw us another. Uh, oh, do we have to draw two crisis cards? What was the deal here? Yep, draw two crisis cards. That was our first one. We're going back up here to our next to our deck and find out what uh, awaits us. What awaits us? Separatist destroy major gas prom pipeline. Ouch. Place the worsening economy count on Russia in the Eurozone. Oh, look at all this stuff. <laughs> Separatist destroy. Yeah, you can see you got a nice little illustration there. Is there some, what does that look like? I'm not sure if there's a person there or what, but something's on fire. Alright. Oh, it's a terrorism event. Ouch, yeah, it's bad news. Uh, let me check this out. We'll be right back. Alright, well, you know, when terrorism event hits, there are definitely storm clouds in the distance of this card. Card is not good at all. Um, the uh, worsening economy counter was placed on Russia and the Eurozone. They both have improving economies, and so now they're worse. Plus one regional crisis in Eastern Europe and the Eurozone. And that pushed the Eurozone to major crisis. So, red alert number one. Uh, place one. Minus action point that'll negate one of the plus ones on Russia, but uh, three tension counters on Russia. <laughs> I mean, when it goes, it's gonna end the game. It's funny how you can beat, and that's just you know, it's a great game. Don't tell me that it's not taking anything away from it, but yeah, three more tension counters. Russia's getting ready to blow posture, too. If I get anything to do at the end of my turn. Going there, <laughs> get that taken care of. That's a game ender right there. I mean, I don't know much about what the conditions in the game, but I know that can't be good. And it ain't over. Roll D10. Wow. Yikes. All right, let's roll it. Let's see what happens. Lady Luck, Lady Luck. And we got a little bit of a roll there. Where'd it go? Five. All right, four to seven. Russia blames Ukraine and invades or reinforces Crimea. Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, shit, you not. Russia blames Ukraine and invades or reinforces Crimea. Well, they've done did that a long time ago, so place two Russian influence counters in Eastern Europe. Let me take this over and we'll be right back. All right, all right. Woo, and... This close to a clean getaway. <laughs> Ouch! What a freaking card to draw. It was like the terrorism event of the war of the century. All right. Well, anyway, something happened with that pipeline, and the Russians are blaming uh, Ukraine. I think they should have blamed the Islamic terrorists. That would have been better for us. But we got a five, which means they blame Ukraine and invades or reinforces Crimea. So I don't know what that means, but. We have done placed two more Russian influence counters on Eastern Europe. We added one tension counter to Russia. Three tension counters on NATO and two tension counters on the UK. You talk about tensions. <laughs> Move Russia, US relations, one box left. That puts them into the Cold War state. Plus one regional crisis in Eastern Europe. That makes that a major crisis. If you wish, you may automatically place a multilateral sanctions counter on Russia. I'm not going to do that, but place a plus one action point counter on Russia if you do. That is it. That is it. I don't see anything about invading Crimea or anything like that or what else we do. So, and invades or reinforces Crimea. Williams Ukraine and reinforces Crimea. So maybe I got to look at that, look that up real quick. But uh, when we're done, we put this in a discard pile. Wow. All right, let me see here. Russia blames Ukraine and invades or reinforces Crimea. That's all it says. Well, maybe that's just kind of in the background, abstracted. And this is... So they, they uh, invaded or reinforced Crimea, and that just uh, tells you the rest of it is what the ramifications are, what the result is. 
the game wise. So, but let me look it on here real quick, and we'll be right back. Cause there's no, there's a Russia Ukraine conflict track. Uh, if I could see, I go, yeah. But there's no Russia Crimea or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure that's the way uh, we interpret that. Does that happen abstracting, abstractly? Or what's the right word? That abstracted uh, some kind of a invasion, and we just did were the results, and they're pretty big results. All right, that'll take care of uh, the card. Woo! Discard pile right here, and now we have a plus. So we have to draw one more. <laughs> Down here, draw one more again. Let's see what this one is. Crisis, crisis, crisis. Oh, man, that one's killer. Like I said, at the end of the turn, too. Hopefully, I get a whole bunch of things I can do. Actions to take care of those. Let me just get these out here. So I can't see which one I'm picking. Oh, come on, get a good one, get a good one. What's this one here? Oh, no. Draw crisis cards. And draw again. Oh, draw plus. Draw again. Oh, no. Alright, well, we gotta draw, draw another crisis card. Put this one here. On this. This time we only draw one crisis card. <laughs> then we draw another chit. Oh, it just never ends. Alright, put this over here. Let's see what we got on a crisis card. Oh, this is just gonna end the game. I mean, I, as good as I am with the. Uh, Legacy and popularity and booming economy and maxed out on homeland security relations with Congress don't matter. It can all end in one blink of an eye. Delays and costs overruns plague China's oil and transport project projects in South America. Oh, that could be good. All right. Delays and costs overruns and plague China's oil and transport projects in South America. Remove one China influence from South America. Place that tension counter. China and a worsened economy counter on China. Okay. South America. China does have an influence. Get out of here. We'll take this card. Tension counter. Oh, I got attention. Alright. Tensions aren't too bad in China. It looks like this will be their third one. Alright. And, uh, worsening, worsening economy. So their economy goes from improving to worsening in their state of economy and the card gets discarded unfortunately for me I have to draw one more chit Ooh. draw crisis cards let me see if that plus one real quick I'll be right back I'm gonna draw one more crisis chit per man there were a lot of hits Whew. We're still here, like old Papillon said, always floating around that ocean. I'm still here, mother... <laughs> so we're still here. Oh, come on, come here. Russia Axe 2. This could be it here. This could be it. I'm going to have to go check this out and uh, see what happens. But yeah, Russia's going to act. That's a Russia Axe 2, so not good. And they got all kinds of things they want to do. We'll see what happens. Ooh, does the... Uh, Mr. President game, mirror real life. And can we have another war on our hands? We'll be back. All right, well, let's read this together. First thing we do here when Russia acts is we'll come down here and it says one determined if, a vic if victory and player auto loss. Has Russia won the game? Russia auto victory. Before performing any of the actions, check for these three conditions for immediate Russia victory. Russia has a base in Eastern Europe. I don't see that. Nope. They got two influences. There's Cold War tensions. No base in Eastern Europe. All right, we're good there. Two. A total of nine or more Russian influence counters are on the map. I only count four. Let's, I'll have to count these again. One, two, three, four. Okay, they don't... We don't uh, meet that condition. There's only four. I, I, I update that little spot here all the time. So none of them have reached it yet. But this last one uh, could get me. 
either the Eurozone stability is less than five. Ooh, it is, and it's on five. <laughs> yes. Let me zoom in. I thought I lost the game, but I'm pretty sure it's regional stability is at five. So you see, it's got it in red. That's not good. So you see if this one's in red. No, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we just skirted that one. I thought I lost the game. The auto victory. All right. Or NATO or the UK have ally relations with the US worse than very close. Yeah. We, we made that one. Very close and very close. So that is, oof. Talk about dodging a bullet. Wow. If all three of these are true, Russia has achieved a strategic... Oh, if all three of these are true. All right. Well, there ain't no way they're going to get that, so we're good. The game immediately is an auto loss for us player. If Russia has not won the game, then did you just draw the Russia Axe 2 crisis chit? Yes. When you draw a Russia Axe crisis chit, that is a minor activation for which you can skip. Oh, yes. Down to the remaining action hierarchy and perform only two actions let's go over here I think we do remember how to do this remaining hierarchy perform each action listed below once in order until all okay so we're gonna go do a cyber attack Woo! wow we got away with that one all right this goes unfortunately back in this little crisis cup but uh, yeah, we know how to do this. They've done this before with their uh, cybers. I mean, I think it came out our okay. But uh, oof, if we do, once we do get past this, man, I need to. I need a whole bunch of turns here. I got this uh, one to four in turn. Draw more crisis, crisis chits. What the? F <laughs> All right, that's where we're at. Wow. All right. Well, I looked at that, and I thought that was a game ender. But no, yeah, you see these red numbers there. You don't want anything going on there, so all kinds of chores to be done. We're gonna take a little breaky break. When we come back, we will uh, find out what goes on with the two actions, the remaining action hierarchy chart. We're back. All right, then carrying on with our two cyber attacks. It says uh, if you're at a posture two, you have three of them, unless you're using the. Russia Axe 2 chit that uh, in that case that supersedes everything and you only make two of them determine our target all right let me see here I guess roll 1d10 let's see what is up oops oh that was a good one with a two all right two is target just political cohesion success decreases relation Relations with Congress by one box and bipartisan cooperation by one box. All right. B, major success. Huh. Let me see here. Firebolt, if a cyber. All right. Attack using, okay. I have no idea. Let me see what's going on here. I'll be right back. All right, that role was to find out what the target was, and it targets U.S. political cohesion. Uh... We will roll down here, and since our die roll uh, will be under U.S. cyber strategic capabilities equal, because our capabilities are equal when it comes to cyber cyber warfare. So that's what we'll be using. This chart here would be if uh, Russia was ahead, and this is if Russia is behind. So we'll be using this one. The target will be U.S. political cohesion, and then it has two choices down there. Oh, wrong one. Oh, there you go. Sorry, there you go. All right. We need a high number for a failure. So here you go. High number. No die roll modifiers. I can see there'll be one more attack after this. Oh, two. This is a success. Ouch. It isn't a major success, but we didn't get our high number. All right, success means decreased relations by Congress by one box and bipartisan cooperation. Relations with Congress, one box. And bipartisan cooperation cannot go any lower. It's top. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. We got we got uh, red flags everywhere. All right, we're going for number two. Attack number two. 
with a nine, and that will be target Eastern Europe democracies. All right, again, looking for a high number. Oh, that would have been a good number. Nine, we'll take that. Uh, eight plus, and that's a failure, so we'll take that, yes. All right, we withered that storm. Whew, gosh. All right, we can move our action counter down to, and this is a new one, one to four, end turn, and we're rolling a D10. Let me see what that involves. We get rid of this little booklet here, and uh, we get all of our stuff, blah, 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 blah. End turn, one, four. Wow. One, four, end turn, go to end turn, clean up the consequences on the roll of draw one crisis chain pilots and destructions out. Uh, all right. We are ready to roll 1d10. Looking for a low number again. Whoa, baddie, baddie. Low number. Oh, is that a nine or a three? Oh, it's a nine. All right. Draw a crisis chit. Instructions, then go to end the turn, clean up. So crisis chit again. They just keep coming after us. How are we still in this game? How are we still in this game? Oop. Crisis chip. Full pop. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Three plus cascading event. Oh, I gotta go grab me one of my three plus cascading events. I think that's what we do. Let me check this out. Three, oh, no. So we do another one after that? Oh. They keep on coming the punches. But we're still here. I don't know how long. We'll be back. All right, from our number three cascading event deck, we will shuffle them. Oh, there's only two. So uh, we'll pick one. We'll pick this one. And put this one back. And what happens here? Oh, three. North Korea naval provocations again. If the ROK US allies are very close and do have conflict tracked it to a greater. Alright, Republic of Korea. Republic of Korea, Republic of Korea. Let's see here. There's North. I believe we are very close. Yeah, very close, very close, very close. Alright, so we meet that criteria. Yeah, very close and conflict tracked. Two or greater. All right, conflict tracked. Conflict status is two or greater. All right. Anti-submarine warfare terror. Oh, okay, it's good for us. All right, two or greater. We meet that criteria. Republic of Korea slash U.S. anti-sub warfare teams force North Korea cups sub to the surface. Add trending pro-U.S. counters to Asia-Pacific, plus one regional crisis. So trending pro-U.S. counters to Asia-Pacific. Asia-Pacific, trending pro-U.S. I right, have to find me one now, but plus one on our crisis level. That's good, is that what it said? Yep, all right. Oh, what are we doing here? Let me look at this over and I'll be right back. All right, we have no counter on the regional oh, alignment and stability track, so we just got to put us a pro-US. Now, if we get another pro-US, we get to move that stability on up. That's how you do that. All right, turning pro-US and add one, plus one to the regional crisis. We did that. We're one under major crisis. Not good. Now I get to roll a D10 for a change to the... North Korea, South Korea conflict track. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we want a low number. Low number. That's what the doctor orders. Yes. One to five, decrease it one box. So the conflict track will go down to one. Ooh, that's good. All right, we'll take that. That is the cascading event. When we're done with this one, we get to uh, discard it. So let's discard this card. Yes, we'll take that. All right, now a cascading event is what we drew when we drew our one shit. Yeah, I don't know about what happens with that plus. I gotta check that out real quick. But other than that, then we'll go down to end of turn, and that'll be it for our 
first year in office, boy, ended with a bang, like I said. This cleaned, this far from a clean getaway. <laughs> it was looking really good. All right, we'll be back. I don't know what we're done here. Yeah, I gotta check this out, make sure the old plus don't mean I have to pick me up another chit. We're back. All right, the crisis chit you drew had a plus sign on it. Move your counter down one space on a turn sequence track. Uh, and draw another crisis chip. Follow its instructions as above. So we'll put the counter right here to end turn. We gotta draw one more crisis chip. Ouch! Oh man, that is a tough way to end the year. I hope my year don't end that bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Draw two crisis cards. We are just getting hammered. All right. It's got to end. I mean, how many more do you plus this? Do we have? We got to draw another chin after this. Oh, this is the worst. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are on it. We are on it. End turn. We'll put our crisis chit here. It's our end turn, but we got two crisis cards. We got to pull plus another chit. So let's go to the crisis cards. All right, here, crisis deck. The first one. Oh, I'm trying to end my year. Oh, out rebel assaults in Pakistan. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better. Plus two crisis in CS Asia. Oh, Central South Asia. What is it? Plus two? Regional crisis. Well, that'll put us up the major crisis there, so that just pushed us over the edge on that one. Oh, plays two tension counters in India. We're running low on tension counters over here. That's never good. All right, so I'm going to name this video How to Lose at uh, Mr. President. And it all came, it all comes real quick at the end, they say. So here you go. On India. Oh, man. Whew. I guess this is India over Central South. Very close. India. Yeah, so he's going to have three tensions. I'll get him now. Tensions in the world all over the place. At the end of my turn. Roll a d10. Oof. Oh, oh. You can spend one action point. Oh, we do have an action point. Or one goodwill counter. Subtract one from the roll. All right. So we will spend an action point. And we'll minus one from this roll. And I think we want a low number. Three. All right. One to four. Government counterattacks. Rebels retreat. Minus one regional crisis. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, minus one regional crisis. We backed off a major. Reduce level three to terror group in that priority. Level three. Uh, I don't say level four. Uh, reduce a level three, two or one terror group in that order by one level. All right, three, two, one. Well, we got a one here, so I guess we'll just take him off. Yeah. All right, there you go, and then what? And then, take the card and put it in the R. What does the R pile mean? Oh, oh, there you go, it is the reshuffle pile. All right, we'll take that, shoo we. One to four, yep, here's all of our other results. We don't worry about those, put it back in reshuffle. Wow, all right. Crisis card number two. And then I think we're done. Oh. Cyber theft and sensitive intelligence. Government information threatens national security. Somebody got some of our intelligence, government information threatens national security. Plus one diplomatic crisis. Oh, I guess so. Uh, plus one domestic crisis, is that what it says? Uh, plus one domestic crisis. Ouch. Getting up there. This will get me ready to go for next my next year in office if I survive. Minus two public approval. Oh, we're going down from 70 plus down to 66. They are not happy with me because of these events. Uh, place a DOD. Oh, okay. Roll one to D10. All right. It's a cascading event, too, so this sucks. This has to go into number two pile after this. So this is the first one we're going to do is C, and then cascading. It gets worse if you don't take care of it. But uh, we have a 
Roll a D10, scan on the Department of Defense. DNI resigns. Minus one to cabinet effectiveness. We're looking for, I guess, a low number with a D10. Low number. Five. Scandal in Department of Defense. Place a new scandal for Secretary of Defense. Ooh, Secretary of Defense. Scandal, scandal. Let me see here. All right, we'll find out how I do this. Maybe there'll be a marker. Right back. All right, getting spicy now. I'm dealing with all kinds of new stuff. Uh, place a scandal in Department of Defense for my Secretary of Defense. Uh, we haven't encountered that yet. But here's the, here you go. Secretary of Defense with a breaking scandal. More game mechanics to check out. It's all it's all good. <laughs> Keep them all coming. Uh, hold on a second. All right, that'll be it. We are done with the first part of this cascading event. We'll put this in the two pile. Ooh, bad news, bad news for things that can go wrong. But that'll be it. Phew, we are done. All right, now we'll go to end turn. Uh, draw one crisis jet pilot, end turn, clean up consequences on page 25. All right, page 25. Oh, don't show me anything here. And their turn clean up consequences. Does it say 25? Huh. Their turn clean up consequences on page 25. Well, it's really page 24. <laughs> errata, errata. All right. At the end of turn, perform the following. We will be back. We'll call this a video. We are done. Oh, man. Talk about the world coming apart at the seams. We're still here, though. And uh, enjoying us some killer, Mr. President. We come back. The end, turn, cleanup, and consequences of my first year in office. Or my first, yeah? Yeah, there'll be four of these coming up. We're back.